Hello and welcome to this video about the three card burr. Uh, this is my one that I made. Um, and for those who don't know what a burr is, as you can see it's three cards that have been slotted together in the X, Y and Z axes. Um, and the puzzle is how to slot it together. Um, and the interesting about it is once it is slotted together you can't take it apart again without ripping the cards and destroying it. Um, so in this video, I'm going to split it into two halves. The first half of the video will be how to make these cards and cut the slots in them and so forth. Uh, and then the second half will be how to slot the three cards together to make your burr. Um, and if you can hear that noise, it's just started raining in the conservatory, so <laughs> it could be could get quite loud if it gets heavy. Um, so that's the, the burr. To make the three cards is the first step. So here we go. Okay, to make the cards, um, I'm going to use this as, as a demonstration. Um, this will represent you three playing cards. These boxes will represent the playing cards. Um, and you have to cut, whoops, excuse me, you have to cut um, slits in the cards. Um, and I'm going to draw slits on this pen. So, one card, let's say this one here, you need a slit down the centre of the card, like that. Uh, and that slit is six centimetres long. Uh, I'll write that at the top for you. Six centimeters. Uh, you then also, oops, sorry, you then also need on this card two slits coming in from the sides, like this, and those slits are 1.5 centimeters. Um, and that's card card one, if you like. The second card is again a slit straight down the middle at six centimeters and then you do another slit across the middle forming a cross and that second slit is um, I'll write at the bottom uh, slightly to one side four centimeters for the across slit and then your third card is cut with two slits top and bottom coming into the middle and they are uh, three centimeters and then two slits coming into the centre and they are 1.5 centimetres. Um, now I've already cut some cards so we've got this card here this is this card here got a slit down the middle and then you've got these two slits either side there so that's that card this card has got a slit top and bottom and left and right so that's that card, the four slits. I don't know, I'll do it like that, there we go. And then this one has got straight down the middle, straight across the middle, creating the cross there. Um, and that's that's it, that's as simple as it is. That's how to cut the card to the right slits, the right sizes, or to the best of my knowledge they're the right sizes, this is what I worked out for this one. And this works, as you can see, so it must be the right sizes, or near enough the right sizes, if not exact. Um, well, that's the, the first half of this video, that's how you make the cards. So, I'll end that part here and join me in part two to put the cards together. Right, well welcome to part two. Um, by now you've made your cards and uh, I'll show you how to slot them together. Now do you remember, once they are put together, you can't take them apart again without destroying, without destroying the cards because they sort of lock, end up locked together. Um, so be careful putting them together. <laughs> um, they will need a little bit of force to get them together. Um, but it's not too much force, it's not going to damage the cards when you put them together, or shouldn't do. 
Um, so, to start with, uh, to, this card with the big cross in the middle, you can put that to one side for a second. You don't need that one yet, you can start with these two. So you've got the card with the slit down the middle, and the two slits other side, and you've got the card with four slits around the edge, two either side and two either end. And then what you do, uh, so let's to the camera, take this card, the four slits, and you put one end through the middle of this card and push it up as far as it will go so the top of this card is sliding into the slot you've made in this card. Oops, that's what we inside there. Now you'll see that this, the end of this card is fractionally too long to go through the hole so that's where it comes out a bit of force and a bit of bending of the cards oh. <laughs> and it will go there you go, and it goes in, and you push it across to the rest of the slot, and then by adjusting it slightly, you can pull it down again to the cards are level, and then you've got a cross made from two cards. So that's the, the central part of the. You bring this one in. That's this central cross bit. You now need to do this card, and then across the other two. That's where this card comes in. Okay, here a second. Whoops, too far. There we go. Um, now this one's the tricky one. This one is the tricky one. Uh, now I've got to remember how I <laughs> how I did this. Um, right, so you push a corner through. Um, let's see if I can remember this now. Whoops. Push one corner through. You can push. Um, forgive me, I'm trying to remember now. That will go through there and through there. Um, no, right, okay. Start on a short a side, one of the side ones. So that will go through there and that through there. And it takes a little wiggling. That through there. And hopefully you can slide this down by bending the card, see like that, slide that down to that slot and it'll drop in and push in, that helps. Um, and then comes the hardest part, is getting this second corner through the slot, which isn't easy. Um, as it takes a bit of bending to get it to click through, I'll then push down carefully, click, click into place and straighten that out again. And then you can go around, straighten all of these, like that. And there you have a three card burr, slotted together, for all eternity. And there's the original one. And that's it, you just have to be careful when you're doing it. Because um, if you look, just here, you haven't got a lot of extra space to be forcing it, because it could tear across there quite easily. The first side is not quite so bad because that drops down quite easily. It's when it's this side, second side under pressure, that could be a problem. Um, so be careful of that, and you can spend almost forever going around adjusting all these little pieces to get them correct or get them absolutely dead perfect. But there it is. That's the three card burr. And that's it. So thank you for watching. I hope this helps. You can now make your own three card burrs. Um, I have seen a version where you've got two cards going through in each direction, uh, but I don't know what the don't know how to cut the slots to do one of those, and that's obviously tricky to slot together. Um, and I also found a picture, which I will show actually in the end of this video in just a second. Um, it's got four cards going in every direction. Uh, it was done by a Japanese gentleman. Well, Actually, I think I should call him a Japanese genius. Uh, if you had to slot four together. Um, so I'll show you that picture. And if anyone does give a 2x2 two two or a 3x3 three three or a 4x4 four four or even more, please let me know. I'd love to see a picture or a video. Um, but for this video, that's it. Thank you for watching. Uh, and I'll show you that picture of the 4x4. Four four. Bye.